EU diplomats have poured cold water on Labour's hopes they could renegotiate the UK's Brexit deal on security. Sir Keir Starmer has been slapped down this morning by Brussels, as his hopes for a new security deal with the EU have been left shattered. Labour had recently suggested that a new security deal with the EU could be broadened to include concepts such as economic security and migration. However the proposals have flopped in Brussels, with one EU diplomat telling the Politico website that the policy sounds like cherry-picking aspects of EU membership. They added, we're not sure we see it the same way, we're more comfortable with the classic definition of security. A second frustrated EU diplomat has also criticised Labour's recent rejection of an EU proposal to open negotiations of more free movement for young people, with a party spokesman saying they had no plans to pursue the idea. However the EU source fumed, it wasn't out of nowhere, it was based on six months of discussions between member states. It's not the first time Sir Ears' anti-Brexit dreams have been left smouldering. In September last year, the Labour leader's pot to renegotiate Brexit was described as delusional and a political lie by one EU expert. Wolfgang Munkau, a former associate editor of the centrist Financial Times where he wrote about the EU, published an analysis of Labour's latest policy announcement on the Euro intelligence website. Mr. Munkow described Sir Ear as delusional in thinking it is possible to stay outside the single market and the customs union, and get a better deal. He described the announcement as a political lie. He said, it will almost certainly be exposed as such, and not only by us. Probably the biggest delusion yet to be unpicked is Sir Ear's repeated assertion that there is a better deal with the EU out there. This is simply not true. He describes Mr Johnson's 2020 agreement as a reasonable third country trade deal, which while leaving open two unresolved topics of Northern Ireland and Horizon membership, have now been resolved by Rishi Sunak. The EU blog puts it bluntly to Cirque Ear, if your bottom line is that you do not wish to rejoin the single market and the customs union, there really is not a lot more out there. Labour's current refusal to come clean about their plans on Brexit has also left Brussels frustrated, with an EU diplomat also telling Politico, I think they don't even really know what they're planning to do.